Okay, so um, we're now we're not going to go through some of the ones that I picked, mm -hmm. and um, there's a lot of scripture here. So we're going to do is kind of like the last time. I'm just going to read through it, mm -hmm. okay, and mm -hmm. get through verses four through twenty-three. And then what we're going to do is we'll come back and we'll elaborate after I've read it. Mm -hmm. But I want everybody to be able to soak up and feel what's going on. You, you know, the thing is, I can only do this stuff if I dive into the scriptures and I become a part of the characters. Mm -hmm. That's how I can feel what this guy's saying and what that guy's saying, what this one's doing and what that's doing, mm -hmm. and add the descriptiveness to the interpretation of the word that the translators didn't use mm -hmm. to give it more flavor. That's what it is in the red. Mm -hmm. And I put the Greek in there so you can go double check and see, okay, yeah, this, and I've had people do that and say, yeah, that, that's what the words say, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm not embellishing anything here beyond what it is other than a few adverbs and nouns to make it sound right. So I'm going to go ahead and read through this up to verse 23. Then we're going to come back and circle back and, and elaborate on whatever you feel like you get out of this. Mm -hmm. Now this I say, lest anyone should deceive and delude you with persuasion, which is enticing words. Now, well, I'll wait till we get to this point. For though I am absent in the flesh, yet I am with you in spirit, rejoicing to see your good order a, of a dignified character at this time and the steadfastness established stability by your faith in Messiah. As you therefore have received Messiah Yahshua, the master, so walk by showing we have the capacity to be able to function in him, mm -hmm. rooted to the point of stability and built up in him and established through being confirmed in the faith as you have been taught, abounding in it with thanksgiving, with grateful language towards Yahweh. Beware with perception, lest anyone cheat as leading you away as booty by seduction of you through philosophy of Jewish sophistry, a mm -hmm. clever but misleading reasoning that comes from a love of wise things and empty deceit that uses cheating to delude according to, boy, this thing's temperamental. I got lost here. According to the, there it is, sorry, this uh, mouse is acting up a little bit. Tradition that puts in prison using Tal Jewish Talmudic law of men. According to the basic principles, which is an orderly arrangement of the world and not according to Messiah. For in a state of rest in him dwells to house permanently all the fullness with completeness of Elohim head and its divinity bodily. And you are complete, being perfect in its fullness, a state of rest in him who is the head of all principalities, which is the first estate and principal rule and power of privilege and superhuman capacity. In him you are also circumcised with circumcision that is mosaic with the rites associated with it. But without hands, made without hands, by putting off and divesting, removing the body of sins, of the flesh by the circumcision that is mosaic with the rites associated with it of Messiah. Buried to assimilate spiritually with him in baptism, in which you are also raised, roused from death, and revived with him through faith that is a moral conviction of Torah or gospel in the working of efficient energy of Yahweh the Father who raised him from the dead. And you, being dead in your trespasses, whether unintentional or willful transgression, and the circumcision as an unregenerate Gentile of your flesh, he has made alive to reanimate together with him, having forgiven as a favor and grant of kindness to graciously pardon you all trespasses, having wiped out the handwriting from a legal document of bondage of Talmudic law of requirements of civil, ceremonial, or ecclesiastical decrees that was against and planted covertly towards us, 
which was contrary as an adversary to us. And he has taken it out of the way, having nailed it to the cross as an atonement of Messiah. Having disarmed by divesting himself wholly from the principalities, which is the first estate and principal rule and powers, a privilege of superhuman capacity who are spiritual with delegated influence. He made a public spectacle by exhibiting of them, triumphing by conquering with victory over them. So let no one judge judicially, condemn or make a decree to the point of punishment and sue at a law of you in, brought, in, food, um, in food of meat or drink, eating or in drink or the act of drinking or regarding a festival that is holy for a new moon, festival that is of the first of the month or Sabbaths that is weekly, which are shadow as an outline sketch in representation of things to come with expectation to attend. But the substance to be saved is in the body and is of the Messiah. Let no one cheat you of your reward of salvation through defrauding, taking delight in false humility that humiliates your mind and worship with a ceremonial observance of angels of good tidings, whether a spirit of hu or human, intruding by looking into those things which he has not seen. Vainly, which leads to failure and causes one to be puffed up with pride and haughtiness by his fleshly mind, and not holding by retaining with strength, fast to the head, from whom the whole body nourished, with aid fully supplied and knit, to drive in unifying together by, with, by joints for fastening and ligaments, which is a unify, uniting principle, grows with the increase that is from Yahweh. Therefore, if you died with Messiah from the basic principles, orderly arrangements as a military formation of the world, why, as though living in the world, do you subject yourselves to the regulations that are civil, ceremonial, or ecclesiastical laws made by men. Do not touch or attach oneself to. Do not taste. Experience something good or pleasurable. Do not handle by having anything to do with. Which all concern things which perish, that decays and inflicts corruption to the point of destruction with the using or consumption, according which is joined to the commandments as a precept within Talmudic law and doctrines and instructions of men. These things indeed have an appearance as a motive to communicate wisdom that appears higher spiritual wisdom, but is worldly in self-imposed and unwarranted religion. False humility that humiliates your mind and neglect of the body, but are no more value of self-dignity of a high order against the indulgence of gratification of the flesh. There's a, there's a lot there. Yes, it is. <laughs> there's a lot there. Yes. Oh, yes. It just, it's one word and one voice. Paul is teaching the same thing that Yeshua teach. Beware. Mm -hmm. Watch out for the different craftiness and tricks and delusions that the enemy does when he catches one. Uh, the, the scriptures always talk about their heart getting fat. You know, when they get puffed up, Yahweh has blessed them. And so when they get all their worldly goods and their material things, they get puffed up like they don't need him anymore. He can do more. He can give you more. He gave you all what you got. So why you depart from him to pick up and follow the earthly way to get more of the earthly stuff? None of us can get what we have except Yahweh gave it to us. Serving him or not serving him. It's just the one who knows that they got it from him. I don't have to seek it from another. And here, Paul is telling them to beware. <laughs> you, mm -hmm. you with me? It. It, it's, it's amazing how we, we was talking earlier uh, a few uh, a little while ago about how they just pick up stuff. The New Year, the Easter, mm -hmm. the Halloween. I mean, they lure them with gifts. Uh, Halloween, oh, we're going to put candy in the bag and just put some scriptures with it. 
what what's that doing what is that doing um, uh, you can give them candy any day of the week but is that the only time of the week, of the year you can give them a scripture mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. you with me mm-hmm. and so what what are we doing just to hold on to these different traditions of man and to say that in one of them he's uh i know it's being used it's being used in the messianic circle as well as the christianity circle oh right there don't judge us for not keeping this the shabbat or the feast days right all that was a shadow they passed away but when i read it i just see it so differently he's telling no he's saying to me that no one judge me for keeping it Mm -hmm. not for not keeping it but for keeping it but some some way it's been translated or widely accepted as saying don't judge us for not keeping it but in your even in your translations and in the regular scripture too i have yet to see the word not keeping in there so actually it says the opposite yeah yeah so how how did they come to that conclusion and why is that conclusion being interpreted and taught because they refuse he say isaiah prophesied you you rejecting my commandments that you might keep your own traditions i don't want to hold on to what yahweh's given me because our traditions is more fun this set of text um I believe it was around verse five it said that. I'm not no, sure. the one I'm looking for. But I was I'm just pretty. summing it up. I can't really remember. It was various scriptures in there, but I couldn't just concentrate on them i was trying to sum the whole uh chapter up into everything goes back to your heart exactly you know here we go um this set of texts is so manipulated and maligned Mm -hmm. by the christian world because what they're trying to do is they're trying to say this set of texts is they're christian and don't let anybody Mm -hmm. come and tell you you have to keep the sabbath you have to keep the new moons you have to keep the festivals and the you know dietary laws don't let anybody come and tell you as a christian you don't have to do those things okay that's how it's traditionally been portrayed and clearly in this text first of all there was no christian Mm -hmm. these are Gentile believers who were grafted into the olive tree of Israel, who were New Testament believers, getting their nourishment from the apostles who taught them the Sabbath, Mm -hmm. taught them the feast days, taught them the new moons, taught them the dietary laws to follow in those ways. What did Paul say? He says, follow me in the traditions as Yahshua handed them down to me. Mm -hmm. These words are Yahshua. Mm -hmm. The new moon, the Sabbath, the dietary law, those are Yahshua. That is the truth. That is Yahshua in the the written form who came in the flesh to institute these. And we kind of went through this last time. Mm -hmm. But my point is, is that as maybe I'll just back it up because it's important to look at this again. See if I can find it. Uh. Here we go. Beware with perception, lest anyone cheat Mm -hmm. as leading you away as booty by seduction of you through philosophy. And the word philosophy in the Greek means Jewish sophistry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jewish sophistry, which means a clever but misleading reasoning that comes from a love of wise things and empty deceit. Mm hmm. What this is really about in this text is not Christians. This is about Orthodox Jews, Talmudic Judaism, rabbis, uh, Sanhedrin, you know, you can put them all, taking the traditions of the elder that comes through Talmudic law 
And they're coming to the New Testament believers who do believe in the Sabbath. They do believe in the feast days. They do believe in the dietary laws and the new moons and, and all such things. Mm -hmm. And they're coming in there trying to say, it's, it's good you keep that stuff, but we're trying to tell you that if you really want to keep it the right way, you got to do it in this manner. Mm -hmm. And they use very clever Jewish reasoning based on philosophy to trick the unaware people, oh, you know, that kind of makes sense. Mm -hmm. If I'm going to keep the Sabbath, uh, I really need to introduce this tradition. And we got them all over the place today yes. on the Sabbath. Yes. And that comes from Jewish sophistry. Mm -hmm. It's not biblical. Mm -hmm. And there's no righteousness in it. So you're wasting your damn time with those traditions because you're not going to get any righteousness out of those traditions mm -hmm. it's man concocted get real and get rid of it mm -hmm. clean your house mm -hmm. so this is all about jews trying to infiltrate the new testament believers and not tell them to not keep the days keep keeping them but integrate these philosophies that we're telling you that it will make it more righteousness. You can't add more righteousness to Yahweh's word. Mm -hmm. No mm -hmm. man has any words that can add more righteousness to it. Mm -mm. If anything, if you accept what they're telling you, as we've been showing, you have crushed your testicles. Yes. Yes. The sperm and the semen of the spirit cannot come out of you and nothing good is going to come of it because Yahweh ain't going to bless it. Yes. He won't bless it. It's not of him. Mm -hmm. If it's not of him, he's not going to bless it. Mm -hmm. And we got to wake up to this thing. There was one other thing here I wanted to get to. I think it was in verse 14, maybe. If I can remember. No, further down, I think. Jesus thing. Very, here it is. Which are a shadow as an outline sketch and representation of things to come. And they haven't all come yet. Mm -hmm. So that means the shadow is still in effect. Mm -hmm. When I walk down the street, I still see a shadow. Mm -hmm. If I didn't see a shadow, I would know that I've been transformed into spirit. Mm -hmm. But because I do see a shadow, I know I'm still flesh. Mm -hmm. So as long as I'm flesh, that shadow is going to stay there. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, but the substance... I'm sorry... With expectation to attend. Mm -hmm. Now, how are you going to attend an event, which is prophetic in nature, mm -hmm. contained within the Sabbath and the feast days and other things, if you say they're all done away with? Mm -hmm. That means you're not looking to attend anything. And even more than that, you have no knowledge of what you think you might attend, but you couldn't say what it is and when it's going to actually happen and how it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Because your mindset, remember we talked about attitude, is going to lead you into this? Mm -hmm. If you set your mind to have that kind of an attitude, you will not receive anything from Yahweh. Mm -hmm. That means you're in ignorance and an unregenerate heathen. Mm -hmm. That's what you are. Mm -hmm. we got to get real about this thing. This, this is no joke, man. Mm -hmm. These words are real. These words are life. Mm-hmm. Now, and, uh, I'm sorry, you got something you want yeah, to say? Yeah, one thing, okay. one thing. Um, even in the Messianic realm, it's still, they taking on the tradition of the elders. And they teach uh, the ones that are coming in that are calling themselves Gentiles, oh, you don't have to keep the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. So if you're telling them, they're in the midst of you, this group, and you say you Jewish according to the flesh. Right. And I'm looking over there. If we are one and they don't have to keep it, why should I have to keep it? Oh, because you Jewish. Well, the commandment of the Sabbath never say it's the Sabbath of the Jews. Yeshua told them Sabbath was made for man. You know? Psalm, and, Solomon and, and, said and, that. Yeah, yeah. The whole duty of mankind is to keep, keep the, the commandments. commandments. And so they, they get all into this. But Paul's whole point was, how are you going to let somebody who don't even believe in the Mashiach, huh? <laughs> yeah. Tell you about righteousness, huh? He say, all those things, what you're doing, don't let nobody take that away from you. He say, but always know that your salvation is Yeshua. That's your righteousness. It, it, uh, 
the commandments are righteous, but they are not your righteousness. Uh, the holy days, they are holy and sanctified, but that's not your righteousness. Mm -hmm. That's not your identity. That's your manner of life. But your identity is in Yeshua. Exactly. That's him and him alone. So why are we, why, who are we listening to? I want to get back. It's your mind. The testicles are, are they being crushed? The testicles of your mind to your heart. It starts got, here and yeah, then it gets down has into got here. so corrupted right. and so hard that you can't even hear. You can't. Hear. Yeah. Smart. With intelligence. Yes, right. With understanding. Uh, Yahweh. Right. Is a card. He's the only one. Love is the top of his list. The first two is love, love. If you can't do that, then the rest of them ain't going to do you no good. And you're not going to find that love mm. in these traditions. Oh, no. It's false humility, That's as a, we read. A self-righteousness. 